Hey everyone, it's Arctic here, and we're at Chicago for Midwest Fur Fest 2023. This time I'm gonna vlog the entire trip. Let's go. What do I like about this convention? We're standing in it. This space is the most amazing place I can think of to have a furry convention because of all this chaos. I could stand here and watch this for hours. We're at a mashed potato party. Sure enough, endless supply of mashed taters. There's some vibes, you know, it's a great time. Rave is gonna be awesome. They have a kick-ass lighting and PA system here. Most cons do, of course, but this one's exceptional. All right, it's Tuesday. Just got into Chicago from Toronto. Time to meet up with the homies, buy some drinks, and I guess go downtown and hang out. One thing I really love about Chicago is how the blue line, which is one of the subway lines, connects directly to the airport and goes all the way to downtown. I wish more cities were designed like this. And here we are, at the end of the walkway, and the station's right here. Later that night. <laughs> this is Benny's. This is our version of Costco for alcohol. It's, uh, it's world famous throughout the Midwest. We're buying um, alcohol. It's pretty good. You know, soju. How many bottles are we buying? Well, literally like 30. 30, yeah. 30 at least. Why are we buying 30 bottles? Because melon no. needs it. It's, it's all melon. I, I, I have no idea why. Melon's demanding too much. Later that night. It was pretty, I, I mean, it was great. There was a lot of good, cool stuff there. Well, um, it was a great selection of beers, spirits, wines, and everything, and even pretty good cider. Right? And soju, that's and the soju. important thing. Yeah. And this way. Oh, yeah, this way. <laughs> right, well, now we're entering a very uh, bland corporate hellscape. It's Target. It's excellent. A Hot Wheels section is very important. I just want Hot Wheels. That's all. That's all. Got to find a good Hot Wheels. They, they probably might have some. Wow, I see some things. Are you just following me around because you want to record me finding the Hot Wheels? Okay. Well, there are the Hot Wheels, are they? Okay, this upsets me so much. There's like all these empty ones here. Ugh. It's... I mean, this one's not bad, though. Oh, ooh. I'm taking this one. This is good. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm taking this one, too. That's also pretty good. Honestly, I'm set with these two. Uh, of course, the other ones I really wanted gone because uh, all the, the scalpers took him. These two actually, look at these. These are, uh, these oh, are both wa really cool uh, wagons. Are you gonna get them? Of course. Yeah, wow. we are the flip flops. Size 11. Yeah, we're like any of the non, the size 10. It's kind of crazy. Later that night. We're in Chinatown, Chicago, Illinois. And we are walking to a restaurant that we had to select last second because our group has grown in size. It's in the square area. By the way, if you know your animal, uh, you can find your animal in the square. Can you see the square before? Check this out. See this? Cool square. They have all the animals. There's nobody here right now. This is crazy. Usually this square is packed. Kung Fu tea is also very good, a good bubble tea place, but Tiger right, Sugar is the better. way to go. It's the way to go, yes. <laughs> doctor will be do a disagree. Here. Wow, who's that? <laughs> wow, who's that? <laughs> also, the signage to this place is fucking amazing. If you look at the menu, <laughs> it explains that you can choose things that are on the menu. The kitchen can make these. When you exchange money, <laughs> <laughs> you can eat those things the kitchen makes for you. <laughs> you can exchange money for goods and services. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, wow. I haven't missed anything. Someone passed the, uh, the soft shell crack. Yeah. It's only vegetables for me. Arctic. Going in for the shot. The next day. Patrick, what are we doing right now? Well, we just finished yeah. eating at the Golden House restaurant in Chicago. I got pancakes, 
hash browns, eggs, and Vile got an omelet. I have no idea what you got. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> was it good at least? Oh yeah, it was lovely. You know when a place is cash only, that it's gonna be good. Yeah, we were at the Golden Hour restaurant. It was a cheap diner, you know, uh, $9.75 for a Spanish omelet. It was delicious and cheap. Cash only though, please bring your cash. There, there's an ATM inside. Um, it was nice, very uh, classic diner experience in the middle of Chicago Uptown. One hour later. Canada. So I'm at the Lakefront Trail here, and uh, as you can see, there's no one here because it's a little bit cold. But it's actually not too bad. It's really sunny. There's like no clouds whatsoever. So I've just been walking through this uh, Lakefront Trail here. Enjoying my great time alone, seeing some people cycling and uh, people are doing some jogs and stuff. And uh, now it's time to go get a coffee, because it's time to get more coffee. Later that night, One humongous meal later. Give me like five. Right, so, hey, Polly. Next time you shoot, your elbow cannot go no, no, no. back. You, you oh. stepped up to the table and then. I missed. It doesn't matter. If you would have made it, we would have taken it out because you can't do that. What was that? Whoa. <laughs> what was that? Okay. Uh, I did say psych. Wow. But I dropped it. Okay. Say psych. Later that night. I I fucked up. I regret everything. I just want to say hi to a friend and I'm on camera and I don't know what to do. Uh my drive was great. It was boring. I don't know, it's southwestern Ontario. It's boring as shit. It's like farm fields. And then Michigan, which is more farm fields. And then oh, uh, we stopped at a gas station in Gary, Indiana, which was an oh, experience. Bad, bad <laughs> I was like, I don't know why he did it. I was, she was just like, I need gas now. Yeah, yeah, it was Ali's fault. And fuck you. you. We went to a gas station with the bull holes in the window. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's every gas station in Gary. <laughs> uh, I regret stopping in Gary, Indiana. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I now can put on my, my resume that I pissed behind a dumpster in Gary, Indiana. I'm Brad. I'm, I'm here to see friends. I'm just, I'm just vibing, honestly. Even though it's like Wednesday, I like how there's so many international people here. It's a lot of fun. The only thing I hate is how hard it is to get a hotel room. Bark. 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 I'm tired. I'm horny. 
those are related. Those are actually connected. So I get I get horny when I get tired. So Can't, is there an Arctic sticker? Oh, that's cute little Arctic sticker. Go show that off. Baguettes. We love them. We crave them. Really good bread. Bread. We need some good baguette. Oh, I like the transparent case on this. Yeah, I can see it. Oh, it's pretty cool. I think that's nifty. We're talking about bread bags. We're talking about bread bags. Brad, tell us about the fashion line coming out. What? <laughs> it's an interview. What? This is this is this is uh, fashion on the street. Fashion on 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 the hotel atrium. It's a new show we just started five seconds ago. Five seconds ago. Five five seconds ago wow. New show. Right, yeah. I'm honored. To tell be us the about first. tell us about the fashion line. My fashion line. Yeah. My my ugly foxy fashion line. <laughs> shove it in there. Does, does it have like a dead cat that you can just shove no, the, the dead cat is, the dead cat is currently. Uh. <laughs> how's that? This is awesome. Is that working? Yeah. So uh, Brad, tell us about your fashion line. Wow, my fashion line. Wow, I hope I can start production next year. What what month next year? I don't know. Maybe March. I just finished my samples. Ooh, how they look? They look pretty good. I'm excited. You manufacturing down in LA? Yeah, I sure am. Got fabric from Japan. When am I Got. gonna be able to wear one of the shirts? Most of the t-shirts. You do know that I can't hear you because the microphone's in the space. <laughs> You can do a record. Yeah, but I still can't hear you because it's you, you hear the music in the background. Well, that's not my fault. You guys, just, 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 just lean into just him, just kiss him, and talk while kissing him, and that's it. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> He's gonna move it. He's gonna hear. Don't worry. Get multiple microphones. I only have one. They only came with one. You can't buy that separately. You can't. What? Okay, okay, Melon has another one, so I'm gonna steal his. Melon has, how come everyone has one, but I don't? Just get a good scrub. Yeah. No, I was hemming and hawing on whether I should buy it. Yeah, but now, when I decided to buy it, they were all sold out. We, we've identified a clear issue with this setup. Move your microphone around. It, uh, so I ask a question like, Bread, Bread, what? No, you shove it in front of his face and you have to speak like 10 times as loud. <laughs> All right, Brad, so I'm going to ask a question, uh, and you just got to scream your answer. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Do you have any fursuit crushes you want to snuggle up with this con? <laughs> now you got to scream the answer. <laughs> scream the answer. There's too many to list. Too many to list. There's too many to too list. Too many to list. Too many. Are you picking that up, Arctic? Yeah. Okay, see, we, we, <laughs> we found a solution to the system. Too many. It's the interviewer talks normally, and then they shove the mic into the fursuiter. <laughs> This is a viable TV show. I will, yeah. I will, I will pay money for this. Vice News, pick us up, please. I know yeah. you're bankrupt, but this is, this is, this is, this is how it is. What parties are you most excited for this weekend, Brad? Oh my God, what parties? What? Uh, 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 there's a, there's the Jock versus Nerds party. Are you, are you going to be a Jock? Or are you going to be a nerd? Oh. <laughs> As I stare at your glasses. Clearly, I'm a very big jock. As very you big can jock. See. I was gonna say those glasses. I'm are a for huge sports. jock, as you know. Yeah, we're yeah. You have you have your jock bow tie. Um, <laughs> you can wear your jock bow tie. <laughs> jock bow tie. <laughs> I have my jock jock uh, propeller hat. Oh, <gasps> the propeller hat! I forgot about that. Yeah. It's very very jock esque. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I agree. I agree. Should be good. Should yeah, be fun. Be good. The next day. What do I like about this convention? We're standing in it. This space is the most amazing place I can think of to have a furry convention because of all this chaos. I could stand here and watch this for hours. All right, what day okay. is it today? Today is uh, Wednesday. Are you sure it's Wednesday? No, it's, uh, shoot, uh, uh, Thursday. Today's Thursday. It is indeed Thursday. Yeah. Hey everyone, it's Arthur Kier and we're at Chicago for Midwest Fur Fest 2023. This time I'm gonna vlog the entire trip. Let's go. I've attended this convention since MFF 2015. I've been going ever since. It's been a lot of fun every time we go there. All right, why do you like MFF? Uh, the people. My friends. What do you hate about MFF? The amount of people. <laughs> I'm here with Lucy. What day is it today? Uh, day is Thursday. Are you sure it's Thursday? <laughs> is it Thursday? Could be Wednesday. I keep running into people and that could be a double-edged sword because it's like, Man, I need to de-suit, but like, I get stopped and there's like a guy and then there's another guy and I'm like, oh my god, 
There's all the guys. It's fucking awesome. So you love and hate the chaos. It's it's a balance, you know. You gotta have the yin yin and yang for all the furry cons. You gotta go with the flow, but but expect to have a good time. <laughs> Man, I don't know if I'm gonna go to MFF and then. I just straight up end up going anyway, because everyone's here. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. At the end of the day, if you like it, you go. And if you want to complain about it, it doesn't really change anything. Like the people who want to enjoy themselves show up and whatever matters up there is kind of irrelevant because we're here right now. Also, like people work really, really hard to throw this thing. And you know, without these, without these cons, you know, the community like can't be as connected. So I think people should just respect it for what it is and just hope to make it better next time. So you're saying is more people should consider volunteering and or staffing conventions? Yes, do that, help your community. It's really good. Even though it's only Thursday afternoon, is MFF everything you thought it would be? Uh, so far, yeah, I, I'm enjoying myself and uh, all the friends I'm seeing, there's tons of people that I, I know and I have come up to me and have agreed to me and all that. And, and, and obviously exchanging stickers is, is a wonderful. It's almost like a fever dream because like, at the same time, I, I never thought I'd be able to do this or never thought I'd do it. And then like actually coming to do it is like pretty cool. Seeing and meeting everyone, it's almost like chilling out, but like, but you're actually here in person and, and enjoying their self and stuff like that. What do you hate about this convention? Uh, that there's no really good restaurants easily accessible from here. So I eat in a hotel, it's not a big deal. This is one of my top three favorite cons. So there's not a lot I don't like. I don't really leave the con space. So, uh, so you basically live and die here? Pretty much, I eat at the buffet and then I can watch all the chaos while I'm eating. Do you have any particular DJs you're looking forward to seeing? Uh, I don't even know who's playing, it doesn't matter, I'm just gonna go and dance. Seriously? I can dance to almost anything. First that happens is I leave the dance floor, wander around for an hour and then go back. One hour later. We're eating fucking nachos at Dennis on a Thursday morning. <laughs> The first thing we do is like, let's go to fucking Dennis. <laughs> I like MFF because they downgrade my fucking hotel to the secondary. <laughs> i never been so upset because we got a discount. They fucking edge us by giving us the main and then taking it away. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, we got moved to Hilton. We got a discount, but it feels worse than not having the discount. They teased us, you know? They, they, they're like, yeah, you have main. And then. Five minutes before checking, we get a mail like, your room has been cancelled. What do I hate about MFF? I don't know. I like meeting all my friends, seeing them again after a year. I like Dennis. One humongous meal later. I'm vlogging this oh, convention. What's what's the vlog about? I don't know, traveling. Oh, where are you traveling to? Uh, Chicago. Oh, cool. Got just checking out the, the local sites in Chicago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything interesting going on? I don't know. I, need, I should probably get my booze. Bye. Do it. Goodbye. And it's like only Thursday afternoon. It's like three o'clock right now. This is quite a bit of people. Maybe my little vlogger. Wow. Yeah. What? What? My little vlogger. My little vlogger. Yeah, look at my little vlogger here. I'm, I'm trying to vlog. I don't know why, but I think it's because it's fun. I'm so proud of you. You got to give me an 800 word review of this product when you're done with it. Oh my god. Well, I can tell you. Okay, so I've only had this for like a week. Yeah. It's a DJI Osmos Pocket 3 mm -hmm. with the uh, creator kit. Yeah. It came with this cool little lav mic, so I'm shoving it into people's faces. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Yeah, so I've just been doing interview style like this, and it's, it's uh, been doing pretty good. I just got to like put the microphone in places and whatnot. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so far it's been pretty good. I should start like advertising products or something or getting sponsored. What if I got sponsored? Hey, Mip, do you want to sponsor me? Yes. Okay, can you give me like $1,000? I can give you some free product. Okay, I'll take all the free product and in exchange for ad spots in my video, like right now. Yeah, like like this, the, the FC bag. Good FC. Wow, why do you have an FC bag? Because because I have it early. Go to FC. Look at you having such exclusive products. Product placement. <laughs> We're gonna do the interview and my like, I'm just gonna do like this the entire time, like, hey. What do you like about FC? It's in Cali, in a nice area, so there's a lot of food. Is this actually MIP? Uh, it's, it's MIP actual. Uh, okay, is that your Twitter handle? Yeah, it is. Why do you still use Twitter? I don't know. I like the building. I don't like the food, I don't like the size, I don't like, and actually the weather's pretty good too. And why are you here? Uh, everyone else is here. I'm peer pressured. How many years have you been attending this convention? Seven. 
<laughs> you're so you've been small. Here, you've been you're here so for seven. Small. Yeah, Mift is kind of tiny. Look at how tiny this guy is. So tiny. Like, look how tiny, tiny. is. I'm fierce. Tiny. I'm big in spirit. Oh. He's trying to be fierce here, but he's not very fierce. I'm clearly big in spirit. I'm sure you are. All right, go get lost. Okay, I want to get lost now. Bye. I don't know who else is around either, but I'm just gonna aim. I'm gonna go outside. If one okay, well he d he fucked off. Whatever. I'm getting snuffed on. This is this I'm getting stuffed on. This is weird. Ah, my face. This is some high quality beans right here. <laughs> high quality pox in front of the people on YouTube. It's great. All right, Char, we just got back from Denny's. How was your Denny's experience? The first Denny's experience of this convention. I am full of Denny's. All right. He is full of Denny's. That's great. The lobby is definitely busy, as you can see in the background. The lobby smells like wet animal. Oh, Alrighty. no. <laughs> why, why, does it, why does it smell like wet animal? Everybody keeps hitting my tail. <laughs> Have you considered getting a shorter tail? No. Why not? Because I can do this. Was that worth every single dollar you spent to do that? Oh, absolutely. What species is this? Free cow. Why are you a free cow? I don't know. Why am I? I like TF too much. It's over for me. Gotta have a suit of everything. How many friendships do you have here? I can't count that high. I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, why do you keep coming back? Why do I keep coming back? What am I thinking? This is so stressful. <laughs> I can do like a normal thing, like go on a cruise like a boring person. <laughs> if you go on a cruise ship, you're probably old, unless you go on a party cruises. Hey man, I don't know how you cruise. I've been on a cruise. It's, it's, it's all right. What, are you going to full suit Arctic, huh? Literally never. I didn't bring I've my full suit I've seen your full today. suit once. Yeah, well, guess what? I didn't bring it. Arctic. Do you want to know why I didn't bring it? Why? Because that requires effort. Arctic, how many clubs do you have? Ah. Can't think of beans in your face, huh? No, no they're just, you're literally distracting me with paws in my face. This is this is very distracting. Ah. God, why are we like this? Animal people. Because it's Thursday and I'm sober. Oh damn! We just went to the liquor store. Where did the liquor go? Why is the rum always gone? That's... I don't know. You should always have a flask on standby. I know, right? I don't have pockets yet. I gotta mod that. Yeah, go go go! Add some modifications to your animal carpet. Add I some know, pockets. Right? Oh, I already did. Or, or just get a Kigu, or wear the Kigu and just, you well, know. Kigu is what I'm making right now at home, but that's a tomorrow problem. Where are you at with the Kigu building? All the supplies are sitting on a chair and I'm staring at me. I keep playing video games. What are you looking forward to at this convention? Hugging people wearing shag carpets. Excellent. Can I get a hug? Yay. Ah, my face. This vlogging is going great. Time to harass more people. There's so many people here. There's just everyone here. Like the lobby's always packed. I think that's the that's the biggest one. Like it's always like like you can see around here. It's always crazy packed. That's my I think that's my favorite thing by far. It's just much easier to just be here and like just being in this uh, location. Hi. What up, bitch? We're doing an interview or a vlog, I guess. Oh, yo, we're in the club, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we're in the club. What day is it today? What day is it today? It's fucking Thursday, bitch. <laughs> What's up? What you, you guys ready to turn up? Thursday afternoon. <laughs> what do you like about this convention? What do I like? I like to fucking turn up with my boys. <laughs> I'm with my boys right now. We're about to turn up, so I got everything I need. What do you hate about this convention? What do I hate? Sometimes I'm not with my boys, but <laughs> we fix that shit real quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How many years have you been attending this convention? I don't want to say that. I'm going to sound old. <laughs> <laughs> so 10 plus years. Got it. <laughs> 10 plus years. For sure. Flip, are you at least 10 years old? Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm at least 18. <laughs> Let's put it that way. You don't need to worry. I'm available. <laughs> what, <laughs> what are you looking forward to the most at this convention? Dick. How much dick do you think you will get this time? Just one. I already got one. One so in a row, dude. I'm dude, good. Dude, so I'm that, already good. A day. It's a <laughs> so day. you have a one dick allowance at it this convention. It has to be a one day allowance. I already, yeah, I already, I met that allowance. We're uh, good. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> we're, so, we're, we're so back. <laughs> we're, we're so, so fucking we're back. We're so fucking back. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. What are you looking forward to the most at this convention? Cuddling with you. Oh, okay. I'm I guess I, I guess we should cuddle right now. 
There's too many damn people. That's that's just the first world problem. There's too many people going to this convention. Too many, too many furries. So never, many never, dogs. never a so problem. Never dogs. a problem. And cats. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of dogs here. We're animal inclusive yeah. here. More, more dogs. So many dogs. More dogs. There's like two dogs beside you. What do you mean there's no dogs allowed? We need more dogs. I need at least, at least, at least three more. I agree. At least three more dogs. Yes. Yeah. I'm into it. Three more dogs. You heard that right. We need three more dogs in this three lobby right now. Dogs. Three more dogs. Three more dogs. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> uh, I feel so much nicer being outside. Oh, it's windy. Oh God, it's windy. Ah, uh, pain. There's actually quite a bit of cuties here. Like, look at this cool wolf over here. Wow. What a nice wolf. I'm getting attacked. Oh no. My poor face, my poor face. <laughs> Do you like Comic Sans? Like the font? Oh yeah. The lower third for your name is going to be in Comic Sans. I hope you're happy. Uh, uh. So far I like meeting and hanging out with all of my friends from like, you know, long time ago or even new ones that I've met over VR chat. Everything like that. Seeing everyone and meeting everyone and getting to like hang out and have fun. Okay, so I'm gonna see you in the lobby Friday night at 4 a.m. You and, might. You and then very I'm gonna, well and might. then I'm gonna find you and then I'm gonna remind you that the VR chat meet us at noon. All right, do me that favor, please. No promises. Ah, oh, that's fair. All right, we'll hug. Yeah, absolutely. Well, is that the vial? Is that is that Arctic? It is currently day one of MFF. It is a Thursday. It's great. Can you believe it? I can't believe I can't. Whoa. It's MFF once again. Way. We're once again in Chicago, a very cold city right about now. Yeah, that's great. No, I'm excited. I'm chilling. You're chilling. Everyone's chilling. What do you hate about MFF? It's a convention. And, uh, you know, that's just like conventions, you know? It's a love hate relationship. What are you looking forward to this con? I'm looking forward to many things in the con. <laughs> <laughs> I am looking forward to. Uh, a lot more dancing in person because uh, it's my first time that uh, I really been active since uh, I injured my knee at, you know before AC. So it's gonna be very fun. And MFF is a great con for just just partying and the dancing scene is great. That's all I gotta say. Are you gonna do the dance cop? Not dance cop. I'm doing um. I'm doing the floor wars. I'm doing floor wars. All right, the floor wars are cool. Floor wars. If I don't make it, that's you know that's okay. But are you gonna go to the dances tonight on Thursday? It's Thursday night. Yes, I'm doing the. I'm, I think I'm doing series set. So, Hanzo and Jay LaFlame and a bunch of others from Magic Rector doing their you know uh, their like heavenly flame set on Saturday. That one's been cool as well. A lot of hip hop that in that one. Um, so it's good, it's good to see hip hop getting a lot of rep. You know, I'm looking forward to you know whatever they're gonna bring. Um, I, I saw their track list; it's gonna be great. I'm, I'm vlogging right now. Do you want to be? Oh, in the are you? Really? Yeah, I'm vlogging right now. No. Oh, yeah, I'm, about to, I'm about to get a damn Uber though. Okay, well, is your damn Uber here yet? Uh, no. Exactly. So you, you can be interviewed for two minutes. All right. What well. day? Is, all right. What day is it today? Uh, today is Thursday. How do you know it's Thursday today? Uh, I looked at my phone. Oh, uh, okay. What if I said it was Wednesday? Uh, you're a liar. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. What do you like about MFF? Oh, I love MFF. I've been going here for like, God, this is year 13 for me. 13 and, years? Damn. Yeah. And uh, honestly, the dances, the dances make for me because, you know, I'm a DJ. <laughs> Wait, who are you? Uh, Rekka. Oh, okay. What time no, do you play? Nobody important. But uh, I play Saturday, 11 to midnight. Oh, sweet. Are you, are you famous? Uh, uh, <laughs> are, are you are you famous DJ music producer of uh, 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 Goji? <laughs> uh, hello, hello. Hi, good to see you. <laughs> what do you like about this this convention? Oh, about this convention? Uh, obviously, seeing my friends, seeing my friends from you know literally around the world. I love it. Honestly, there's not much I hate. Like, uh, yeah, it's getting a little large, but and you know, the hotel is kind of you know the lottery is kind of a pain in the ass, but. You gotta do what you gotta do, but there's honestly not much I hate. Are you in the main? I am here in the main, yeah. Why, why do you think people are like so main or bust for this convention? It's just where all the room parties are. It's where all the partying goes, where everybody hangs out. So, I mean, you could hang out in the Hilton and stuff like that, but it's not the same vibe. Yeah, the red bar as well. Red bar is incredible. What are you looking forward to the most is gone? Probably my set. <laughs> No bias at all, right? Yeah, no <laughs> bias. <laughs> what do you like about MFF? Keep right all the walks. All the walkies. Oh, all the walkies so in the sky bridge uh, with the heat uh, turned on, place. cranked to the uh, max. Were you there earlier? No. I was there earlier. It was a little toasty in there. It was kind of gross. 
I'm gonna wait until it gets even more toastier. Oh, gross. <laughs> what do you hate about this con? Everybody. Why do you hate everybody? Because they clog up the sky bridge. <laughs> what, do you what are you looking forward to the most this con? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'd rather sleep, <laughs> to be honest. Oh Back my at God. my home. What? You just got liquor? Why do you, what, what liquor did you just get? Uh, uh, a bunch of local beers and multiple bottles of Malort. Why Why would you get Malort? This is so weird. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to have some fun tonight. It's only Thursday, 4 o'clock, and there's already a million people waiting for the line to the elevator. Later that night. One humongous meal later. What do you like about MFF? So many fursuits. There, there is indeed a lot of fursuits here. I mean, you're in one right now. Yeah. What, what do you like about your animal carpet? Comfy to wear. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> what do you hate about MFF? It's so crowded. What are you looking forward to the most this con? Saying hi to everyone. Why do you dress up as an animal carpet? It's quite a lot of fun. It is indeed a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the, well, it's Midwest Fuck Fest. So you're saying you're gonna get a lot of dick? I mean... Or do a lot of dicking? I mean... Yeah, uh, that's my thought. No, I say that and it's actually like... It's actually a pretty cool space, so... Uh, today's Thursday, MFF, day one after Henry Kissinger died. Rest in peace. Damn, rest in pepperonis indeed. I like the people and I like the giant cocks. What do you hate about this con? Ah, uh, shit. Hard to tell. Um... Elevator situation is pretty good this year, so I don't have anything to bitch on Twitter about yet. Uh, haven't been stood up by my hookups yet, so I'm not feeling lonely, not gonna go on a depressive rant online. Uh, having a pretty good time con so far, I gotta say. What are you looking forward to the most this con? Uh, definitely eating a giant block of frozen deep dish pizza. Uh, that, you know, giant block of cheese, frozen marinara, oh, that hits the spot at three in the morning. Why, what, what, frozen? Deep dish pizza, what? Yeah, dude, you get your leftovers, throw them in the, uh, throw them in the room fridge, and uh, it's good to go at three in the morning. You know the room fridge in this hotel is like, not really a fridge, right? Uh, I mean, I've been eating food out of it for like 10 years now, and I'm still alive, so, you know, maybe that's yoke shit, but we still standing. How many years have you attended this con? Oh, uh, shit, this is my eighth year i want to say yeah uh, eight eight years eight years damn that's a lot of that's a lot of uh conventions in chicago land that's a lot of, yeah this is my first con i think outside of my like my local area so it's got a special place in my heart but we're happy to be here i don't think i'm ever not going to come to nmf at this point i keep saying i'm not going to go keep saying i'm not going to get a room in maine but keep getting a room in maine and i keep coming out so here we are why do you think everyone's like all mean or bust for this con oh dude because maine is where it's at i told these man giant dick everybody's hanging around here Everyone wants to be here, all the room parties, all the cute foxes. Oh, oh cute foxes! Oh, see, he's in Maine. <laughs> Shh, don't tell them! Arr. It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Maine's where it's at, baby. Even if they move up to the convention center, Maine's where all the people are. So I see you have this uh, sticker me sign. Uh, why do you have a sticker me sign? I just thought it'd be a great way to just meet a lot of people and get to see what kind of cool stuff they, you know, what kind of art they get and also a little something to remember the con by. I love how many friends you get to meet here, honestly. It's like, it's the biggest gathering, so you get to meet all those people you've been wanting to see all year. How many stickers do you think you'll see on this uh, sign? Uh, I'm expecting it to probably be covered by the end of it at this rate. <laughs> all right, cool. I'll come back to you uh, tomorrow and we'll, we'll see where we're at. Sure. Later that night.
later that night. We're at a fucking mashed potato party. I was in the lobby. Someone came up. They're like, it's a mashed potato party over there. I'm like, there's a what? I had to check it out. Sure enough, endless supply of mashed taters. There's some gravy. There's some, there's some vibes. You know, it's a great time. They all love taters. These are all the tater enjoyers, you know? Like, what is there not to love about some endless mashed potatoes? It's like Thanksgiving all over again. We are doing mashed potato party. We are making instant mashed potatoes because there is no food in Rosemont. So yes, I have a kettle. I've got instant mashed potatoes and gravy. And we are just, we are cooking. And we got so many friends here at 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> How did this start? This started at Anthrocon. I was very inspired by Soup Kitchen, which is hosted by Na and Lumen. But I also wanted to bring like dinosaurs into it. There's like a post on Facebook that's like a dino mashed potato gravy mountain. That's That was the inspiration. And then it got simplified to what you see here. This is a lot more people and everyone's being very respectful. So it's a very good party. We ran out. We got more though. Do not fret, friends, we got potatoes. It's perfect time for mashed potatoes. Everyone's just hang over and just wanting food. All right, what's your name? Uh, Jace. All right, what, what are you doing here? Why is there like a lot of people here, a lot of animals? Because we are irresponsible adults. Irresponsible adults, okay, I kind of like the sound of that. Um, so, so what, so, so how, how are you, are you enjoying it? How, how's it going? I, I'm enjoying the mashed potatoes. It is, right. it is very good. Oh, the gravy potatoes. is spot on. Okay, okay. What's Finally, going? some good fucking food. What's, what's going on here? Like, is, is it just like, is this, is this a call out to MFF? Like, they need, they need to get better food? Uh, this is a call out that MFF needs uh, mashed potatoes at every corner. Oh, damn. Mash, corner. All right, MFF, yeah. you hear that? Yeah, mashed that, potato that every corner. Nasty, yeah. Um, so what's going on here? Like, we see people mixing potatoes, people eating potatoes. What's with all the potatoes? It's about eating the potatoes uh, and with friends and family. Oh, damn, you hear that? If you want to be friends and families, make sure to smash your potatoes and devour them. Make sure they're creamy though. We love good potatoes. I think this is the most popular spot of the con as of right now. This is my first MFF, but so far I love the amount of space, amount of just like wandering that can happen. Just so much happening all at once and there's, there's always something to do. Just absolutely goofing around. I'm excited to see some familiar faces, some new faces, you know. I'm, I'm super excited for all these shenanigans like this is like Thursday night, Friday morning. Like, if this is the bar, then this can be crazy. 3.28 a.m. Can you wiggle your lens for us for the camera? <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh. How do they come? Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> Those actually look, uh, not, not oh, no, look good. Look no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, listen, we're at, we're at MFF. Like, nobody cares about, okay, that was interesting. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute, wait, wait, wait a minute. Can't wait for, no, 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 you, you can't look at your own camera. That's illegal. Arctic's gonna look at the footage and be like, what the fuck is going on? Well, I think that's what Arctic wants. Yeah, I, <laughs> Arctic's gonna find this footage and be like, man, my friends fucking suck. I'm deleting all this footage and fr Friday's a new day. What do you really want to hear at the end of the day? Kevon's voice. So, I'm drunk. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Sh shut your mouth. You want to get interviewed? You want to get interviewed for Kevon's on the spot? interview show no i don't have the hiccup to give you but i have enough hiccups to give away for everyone so we have it's the kevon show what are we doing it is the kevon show so welcome to the kevon show where i interview a street guest on on the spot is this joke to you oh you're actually canceled all right it's over Joe Biden, I got him. It's it's so Jover. It's so Jover. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We got him. Mission accomplished. Best party of the night tonight. So it was like come pizza or come bong. Which one? Did you come in boat? God damn, that's a lot of come. Brad, how much did you come tonight? Uh, none. Not none come. None come. Sashi. All right. What were you? Sashi. What were you up to tonight? We recorded a porno. A porno. TFTI, folks. TFTI. We recorded a porno. It was exciting. Who with who? I can't. I can't spill the beans. I will see it on After Dark Twitter in two days. Uh, this is the only fan. Yeah, probably. I don't have ten dollars. I live in California. I literally cannot afford that right now. Ten dollars. That's like a grande latte. Exactly. I can't. Like Nine dollar fifty for. 80% less benefits, and like, ah, I'll, I'll take that, it's cheaper. Yeah, I gotta say, any, any way I can save. Oh, daddy. 
Glad you got some, homie. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna get any more the rest of the con. You're fucking lying. I'm gonna talk to you tomorrow morning. You're gonna be like, I got three more loads in my butthole right now. <laughs> Trust me, Noth thinks you're hot. Like, you're fine. Rezzy, would you, would you like to get interviewed? I'd love an interview. What is the best thing that has happened to you tonight? The best thing that's happened to me tonight is seeing Kevon again. You hear it here first, folks. Rezzy loves Kevon. I helped you out there by leaning in. I love My time in Boston and New Hampshire vicariously. Super fun time. Yeah. I'm glad we got to I'll go. I'll never forget it. Hiking once. Yes, we went hiking, hiking once. once. The we one hike we went. Nine miles. Woo! Oh yeah, the hiking the story. Tell I'm, the hiking story. Nine Woo! miles. I'm That's still, all it was. I'm still it's tired. Flat ground. <laughs> the flat ground. Flattest ground you've ever seen. It was, it was sold to me as nine miles of flat ground. And boy, did I experience well, nine it miles. It wasn't of that ground. bad for like the first seven miles. And then it went straight up. It was like it was it was like flat on an angle. Like the angle was flat. Yeah. So you know, you know, classic Boston hiking thing. Easy. Yeah, yeah. Easy. 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 No problem. So I know everyone has like a remedy for hiccups, and none of them ever work. You know, oh. I did actually have the hiccups in Japan. Uh huh. And I'm like, this will never work. This, this is this not, is this, this is, is out of all the things I want to hear about your Japan trip. I want to hear about your hiccups. I want to hear about your hiccups. I was going down the street. I'm like, this sucks. I keep getting the yeah, hiccups. I, I, I want it to be it over. Right, what can I like, do to help? I Googled and I got Harvard Medical. What it said was take the deepest breath you can. <gasps> now hold it for 10 seconds. Eight, nine. Now don't breathe out. Breathe back in as much as you can. Another five seconds. Three, four, five, and breathe in again. One more time. I, I don't have any room. No. Yes, you do. Now a little more. Just a little more. Three, two, one. You're good. Exhale. Exhale. And the theory is that you overload your system so much, it just resets. I time. didn't think I had enough, enough room in my uh, it's like, it's uh, lungs. Like, it's kind of like the inhale yeah. method, but three right? times. You don't even know how much power you have until you just push it. See, the method I learned as a child is to drink water through a, uh, a Kleenex tissue. What the hell? Put a queen. How do you do that? Get a cup full of water. And put a piece of Kleenex tissue, oh, grab it, okay. and then just drink the water through the tissue. And it was one of those things. Where it was like, this will never work. My first grade teacher is a fucking idiot, and yeah. I'm so what much smarter hell? than her because I'm in the first grade. Yeah. I know everything. Five minutes later, <laughs> <laughs> Rezzy, I think you solved my hiccups. Wow! No wow! Problem. Arctic, we have a story arc. We have we have a, we have a beginning, middle, Ladies and gentlemen, and an end. This man no longer has a hiccup. I'm cured of hiccups for all Let's times. Hey! When Arctic wanted to film a con video for this con, he's like, man, can't wait to get some like action fursuits, like doing kickflips down the stairs. Yeah. And then you get some actual footage of just like Kevon and Rezzy talking about talking hiccups. Like <laughs> Getting rid of hiccups. This is this is the best you're gonna get. It's all downhill from here. Duh. I might turn the L into a dub, just like yo, I'm gonna get out of video and I'm gonna get right into um uh, receipt printer photography, a very, very specific niche. But hey, no, 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 no. It's listen, rain. it's ra listen. I can make it rain receipt printer uh, photos, which look really good. Phil, if I didn't have a cider, I would drink. You have nothing that I would drink. A person dressed in your garb does not carry a strawberryita or a truly lemonade. Hard seltzer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. I'm going to bed. <gasps> breaking news. Rezzy's going to bed. All right. Well, hey, we gotta get this on video. Whoa. Whoa. Get this on. Yeah, yeah. You fucking suck at camera work. Have a good night, Rezzy. I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you have a great, a great tomorrow morning. I hope you do as well. But I will see you in the afternoon. And stay classy, San Francisco. Stay classy, San Francisco. The next day. Yeah.
What's with the digi leg? The digis are so big. Bye. Uh, yeah. And doors. Whole ass we pause. So this is like some kind of like Anthony de Bourdain exploring the night markets of Cambodia, except now we're exploring the day markets of Midwest Fur Fest, trying to find an elusive belt for a size 29 twink. I don't know where the first two supplies tent is. You would think it'd be fucking huge and be visible. And we're at the end, okay. Oh, they have that mug thing, which is an awful deal. Don't do it. Why is that line so big? It's so expensive. Come here, give me a hug. I love you. How have you been? I've been great. Good con so far? Yeah. I didn't know you were dealing. I'd be, I'm gonna be here three days straight. <laughs> Sick, all right, I'll see you around. Yeah. When you're less busy. I see some tails. Tails usually imply belts. No belts. I really love that. That one's a really good one. I want that above my mantle. You know what? There's no hyena agenda anymore. So there's no giant hyena agenda booth. Ears, ears. I don't have a belt yet. Holy crap, this is huge, actually. First of supplies, Arctic over here. We're looking for, uh, Budgie needs a belt. No, this is exactly what he doesn't want. He has this. Do you have any belts that aren't stretchy? We only have stretchy. Damn it! Sorry. I'm literally looking for a not stretchy Do you belt. Not want a stretchy belt? Uh, Bungie already has one, and he's like, it makes it. He has like a new nub, and it just like drops. It sags. So he wants like a leather belt, like yeah, a basic yeah. ass leather belt. Listen, you're gonna have your giant out one on, and I'm gonna fucking touch it. You better. You gotta touch your tail. I'm gonna hold, yeah, I'm gonna hold your tail. Yeah. Yeah, hold me to holding your tail. Promise? Yeah, oh, pro I never break a promise. All right, well, that was a bust. Fuck, they were $10 too. Like, that would have been perfect. A non stretchy $10 belt. Uh, why is there. Oh, what the fuck? Arctic. Well, attention all not car furries. Uh, what we're looking at here are cars. So, they have headlights, wheels, a hood, no propane tanks. So, that's just like a logistical nightmare to do this. But these are sick. Okay, I'll take it. I have no idea what these fucking cars are, but it's kind of cool and different. It's because it's like a furry like brand that does Japanese JDM car imports. There's a one thousand dollar mystery box. He did also say he wanted a basic belt, and this is the exact opposite of a basic belt. It does have a thin buckle, which is what he wanted. Bungie's a very particular person. He knows exactly the type of belt he wants to wear. Well, I guess we keep exploring. So I am finding belts, like I am achieving my goals. Great idea. The hardest makers will probably have a nylon belt. Whoa, this is so much bigger. I just appeared here. Now I can have original thoughts. Oh yeah, those belts. Actually, hold up. I think we might have won. Ah, oh, those are leashes. So they have the puppy tails here. But what do you need to hold the puppy tail on? Belt. We're on the right track. These are belt-esque. I feel like we're close, but we're also very far. Will he accept a dildo plug harness as a belt? Probably not. The butt plug harness is as close as we got so far. That's so far the front runner. Crap. 
Uh, the fashion outlets would have belts. Uh, that was a lot of words that I said, and you weren't recording. <laughs> I'm sorry. This, this whole vlog is just gonna be like stuff that like, oh man, the thing I just said five seconds ago is really good. You should have been hearing it. <laughs> so I don't know how well these will work without like trying it first. And I don't know anybody who has one to try. We're either closer or further. What? What is this? Oh, oh! See, you need a, you need a belt to hold this on. Where's the belt? We have holes for belts. So where's the belt? I need that. It's huge. Times the size now. Yeah, no, I like, I love it. It should be. Uh, Cause like every other con has like shitty. Uh, okay, well every other con, the the adult theater set is really just the bad dragon room and like one other thing. Yeah. Um, so they actually have like a lot of selections. I like how this uh, fake leather feels. Well, he doesn't like attach both of these together. Just, <laughs> just get two of them. I bought you five hundred dollars worth of collars that we're gonna just like <laughs> hook together. We're, there's so many dildo makers now, which is like, is this just like the new form of pottery? Like, you just hit the pottery wheel with your silicone mold and you just form it into a dildo and like, aha, this is my new dildo face. Yeah, no belts. We were so close. We were actually like so close. That's the most infuriating part. Like we're just touching the realms of possibilities, but we're not succeeding and that sucks. Guess I gotta take the L on the belt now. That actually doesn't conclude our belt hunting adventure. Still need to hunt for a belt. That concludes this story of the belt hunting adventure at the Bad Dragon booth, as all good stories end. Five minutes later. And you gotta find someone whose belt you can steal. You gotta be like, hey buddy, or you can use duct tape. Those are the two options no, you've got. that's a sucky option that does yeah, not exist. Like, you just, you loop the duct tape over, loop it through the belt. You got yourself a duct tape belt. Or yeah, like I was saying, you're in Chicago, so just get no, a belt. you can't do that because you're leaving here. You could just order it on Uber or something. What the fuck you want about? They don't just deliver belts, they deliver people. There, it exists. You can get DoorDash or whatever to take you something from a store. For a belt? Yeah, you could probably ask for a belt from Walmart. And an Uber driver would drop off a belt. So yeah, actually. Right off the side. Yeah, no, it is. You're in America now. You British bastard. Can you Uber a belt? Ooh. No, I don't know the answer to this. It's you not could. Yeah, exactly. You could DoorDash anything. Yeah, welcome to America. You can, we don't want to leave. We have a car-centric infrastructure. Everyone has a car, but we don't really want to use them. So yeah, know, we just I, make I, other I, people I use their cars. Yeah. yeah. So that's just is the American way. Yeah, I mean, that's the, that's the least fun way. I'm still, I still yeah, think you, you should suck some- fun way, which is come around here and find You should suck some dick for a belt. What? <laughs> just, just, just snatch it and run. <laughs> like, just, just take it and run. Can you a belt. belt. What kind of belt? Just any belt. Like, is that a thing? One for your pants? pants? Yeah, you just say, shit, I need a belt, and Uber's gonna bring you. Is that a thing? What is this? Probably not. I walked in. No, okay, thank you. Which, all right, so there's three ways to get a belt. You need to find a you top like with a fat ass, right <laughs> or a duct tape, or Uber. I feel like this is a sitcom. It's not, no, 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 no. You could probably same day Amazon something. No, no, we don't. Fuck Amazon. It's for, how to do it at Furcon right now. If you find a Taco Bell that's like directly next to like a Joanne Fabrics or like a Target or something, you might be able to. to pick, yeah, it's like a local fabric place. These are the conversations of our lives. Craft, craft materials. How often do you need It's like Michael's, up? but less homophobic. What's the fuck's Michael's? Homophobic Joanne. He doesn't know. Do you just go and pick up handfuls of silk? It's, it's homophobic Joanne's. I know exactly what you're saying too. Like Hobby Lobby. Is that and Hobby Lobby. And, yeah, Hobby, and Lobby. Hobby Lobby is the one that's obsessed with Krispies. And they have they stole like ancient artifacts from like Syria and had to return them. They stole ancient Syrian artifacts. Hobby, Hobby Lobby. Lobby. How the fuck is this conversation? No, but I can't. I, I don't right know. Now. Like, the, London's done that in their museums. Is this all, any of this normal? Yeah, no. Why? Like, we. I, this is the annual Hobby Lobby stolen artifact conversation at MFF. Like, every year. Every year. Yeah, every year. Every year. That's how we. Like, I want to slay Belmar. It's so fucking bad. Who, there was a joke Joanne here. Fabrics. Joanne Fabrics. Who had a bell, but it didn't need a bell. And no stolen artifacts. Oh, you won't find it at Michael's, too, though. Too homophobic. No, yeah, too homophobic. Hobby Lobby. 
don't think stealing's a They like Christmas, so they like that. Yeah, they might they might have a, a jingle yeah. bell harness. They might try Uber eating yeah. the milk. I don't want no, because that's the easy option and it's also not a fucking option that's not real. How the fuck is this conversation still fucking going? Holy shit. It's like you when you want dick, right? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't end. No. Yeah, it until, until we get what ends. we want. All like we want is a bell, oh, but a all you want is a dick, but yeah. constantly. Yeah. I don't want a belt constantly, I just need it once. You want a dick constantly though. No, I don't want a dick constantly. Me too. I mean I do, but not as bad as you. Wait, you've got a we've got a belt. Oh yeah. sure. I have a belt. You don't even need it because yeah, your ass will hold it up. No, it has my tail. What is ass it's a tail belt. Up? Oh. He's, he's yeah. Racket. Can you not put the tail up your ass? No, what the fuck? It's not a it's not a fucking butt plug, you fucking moron. Anything can be. <laughs> yeah, anything can be. Anything you, can be. If you uh, I'll have you know that I do my exercises regularly, so I have some strength. Pistol have squat, pistol squat, pistol squat. So squat. you don't need your pistol belt. Squat. Look at take it off. <laughs> Just hold it pinched between the cheeks. Yeah. I'm not gonna let my pride <laughs> that is blind me to the scheme to rob it. me of my belt. Five minutes later. So what did Budgie say? He said surprise me. So, um, since he's a little slutty bottom, I'm just gonna get into the Vore one. Cause I think the design is just an objectively better design. All right, Jake, what do you think? The, 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 the Vore one? Yeah, but I'd like to do that. If you wanna charge- What's the other option? Uh, the Paw one. I'm not gonna say no. I want you guys to make a Um, I like the Paw one. Paw looks more. You like the Paw one? Yeah, I don't know. Does he like Paws or Paws more? Stick my original choice. Uh, can I do one of the mob belts? Oh, for sure. What size? Ah, oh, size 29 inch waist. I didn't know they came in different sizes. I got the cum lube, logo facing out, and I got the belt, logo also facing out. This concludes our Arta Kevon Dealer's Den MFF 2023 adventure. Hooray! If anyone shows me a back flip, I will pay for any item in F class, not above 50 dollars. Hey, it's After Dark Deal at MFF, doing free backflips to get free prizes at this dealer den. Be sure to come on down to MFF Dealer's Den and have as much fun as you like. Later that night. Why is there an ambulance here? Huh? Why is there an ambulance here? I don't know. Did you order one? I did not order an ambulance. Me neither. I don't need one. I would be a bad journalist. That's why I'm behind the journalist. Oh, or in front. That is our Uber. Bye bye. We picked the wrong address. We were we were arrived in like a parking lot, a dealership parking lot, and now we are at the jo Giorgio Danos Pizza, Chicago. We're lost. Our friends are gone, and we're alone. Yes. We're deserted in Chicago, and somebody sent help. The help is the pizza. One hour later. Oh wait, you should get a video of the slice being pulled away. <laughs> and I'm preparing to burn myself really badly. Oh my gosh. Do it, full send. I'll do like a three quarters send because I I kind of want to still taste oh. food. <laughs> I get that cheese on. Mm. It's very. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. Good job. That's Did you catch that? <laughs> no. I, I, was been an I was aiming it at someone else. It's really, really good. Are we back? What do you mean we're not back? We're not back. Because we have another 30 minute drive <laughs> to go back. Don't lift it so high, Basil. It's going to splash. <laughs> 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 oh no! This is the most cursed <laughs> way. <laughs> and that? How you say the Chicago pizza? <laughs> no. Diesel, that's like sacrilegious. So the pizza was nice. I would give it like a 8 out of 
8.5 out of 10. The crust was amazing. The sauce was saucy. It was okay. No, it was good. It was good. <laughs> it was no, no, I'm not. I'm not agreeing with this. It was really good. Chicago. Chicago. You have to say that. Your heart Chicago. out. Yeah. <laughs> and the pizza was good. Eight out of ten. But not worth the wait. Fi final answer. Yeah. I guess like for 45 is the upper bound on. <laughs> Coco, get your facts straight. Uh, uh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to go back to the con. Later that night. AM. Hey guys, two, we have two more soups. You want soup? Yeah. The next day. What day is it today? What day is it today? VR chat day. Everyone's coming in here. Also, it's Saturday. A bunch of my friends wanted to become funny knuckles. We wanted to, we wanted to raid it. But now I'm a freaking furry because of it, damn it. So VR chat turned to a furry. It did. When the pandemic hit, all the furries raided VR chat and that was a bad day. You still play VR chat? Of course I do. 7,000 hours and counting. Jesus Christ. I know. Thousands of dollars down for avatars. So what's this massive ass line for? This line, ladies and gentlemen, none other than the VR chat meetup. So, you know, during the pandemic, yeah. when the world shut down, conventions were no more. I couldn't see my homies from across the land. So I couldn't see anybody. So we got on VR chat, we put up to the online conventions, the online meetups. You know, we, we kept ourselves sane, kept ourselves safe, and we, got, we grew closer as a community that way. And then here we are, you know, back at, back at it, meeting in person, keeping the tradition alive. We're paying homage to, to the, you know, to the platform that let us keep connected. I like MFF because um, you can wear your full suit and not die. I love MFF for all the people that come internationally. I love when big cons like that come from, uh, we have people from Europe, Europe from Asia. I just love seeing all the different faces, different cultures, different people, you know, the same atmosphere. Just showing what furries are about. All right, so what do you hate about MFF? Oh, let me get started, hold on. So first of all, room lottery, that's got to go. Two, this venue needs to get bigger. It, we've outgrown the venue about three years ago. Three, the food options a little, a little, a little bit of a little bit of a bummer. But aside from that, it's not a bad con. I think people over exaggerate the, the chaos that it is. For this being one of the biggest cons in the world, I think it's handled fairly well. I think the staff does what they can to make sure that it accommodates everybody best they can. Tonight, you already know, uh, some of the major acts um, for the DJ set is gonna be insane tonight. I'm gonna hit the, uh, the dealers in again before they close because I know yesterday was, was crazy. And you know, mingling with more people, making new friends and meeting old ones, you know, same shit, different day. What do I like about MFF? Oh my gosh, it's crazy. This place is so small. So basically you meet everyone you know in the most random spots ever. And that's why I love it. What else am I looking forward to? Honestly, staying up for another 17 hours, getting no sleep, talking to everyone, partying, all the fun stuff here. What time do I go to bed? Last night, five in the morning. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. What time are you gonna go to bed tonight? I don't think there is gonna be a time tonight. It's Saturday. What am I, <laughs> there's too much to do here. Tried on his headset, I was blown away. And then he like makes me an avatar of this. And I'm like, that's great. What came first, the avatar or the fursuit? I've had my uh, persona for a very long time, since high school. 
the uh, VR chat avatar uh, was a gift from my boyfriend. He surprised me with it. And then the fursuit was actually a very, very recent thing. I've always loved fursuits, um, and VR chat was kind of my uh, transition into fursuiting. Of course, I have many friends with fursuits, and I got to try them out. VR chat was like my way to do it and cope. <laughs> and now I have my fursuit, and I, I, I'm still gonna play VR chat, maybe more even now that I'm like able to express myself and get some uh, experience with that. I've been going to MFF since 2015. Honestly, I like it because I'm from like Milwaukee. It's only an hour drive and it's like one of the biggest conventions in the world. It's great because everybody goes to it. Yeah, you can always expect to see people here. Rave is gonna be awesome. They have a kick-ass lighting and PA system here. Most cons do, of course, but this one's exceptional. I know a few people who volunteer on the staff for that. It's really cool to hear the specs and stuff for the speakers. Aren't you so happy that they finally moved into a bigger room? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we got turned away last year. And I talked to some of the coordinators and they said, are you kidding? We need a bigger room. We know this is going to be popular. And they put us in like tertiary or something and really small room. Hi, Manti. Good morning. Good morning. So what came first, your avatar or the fursuit? I think technically the avatar did. What do you like about MFF? I love seeing all my friends. That's honestly more than anything I could ever ask for out of a con. I like finding out what other people have to say, what stories they have to share. You never know what kind of background you're really going to bump into every time you go to a con. What got you into VR chat? Uh, originally was just loving technology, buying a headset. Kind of fell out with it and then freaking came back whenever uh, the Ugandan Knuckles came back. I was like, okay, I want to be part of this. <laughs> so Ugandan Knuckles was the hot meme that got you back into mm -hmm, this. Mm -hmm. I don't play it near as much as I used to, but yeah, definitely getting back into it again. Is this your first MFF? Uh, technically, yes. I was here for three hours last year, but didn't actually attend. So. Now you're here for realsies. Yeah. What else are you looking forward to, Discon? Raves are always fun. Freaking partying, drinking meeting with friends. All right, so the VR chat meetup is over. We only had an hour in here, but oh well. They're uh, definitely setting up for the next event. Later. I was told that Moonshine ice cream exists, so please tell me more. Oh yeah, no, there's a, there's a place that has a bunch of flavors, but there's like moonshine in all of the ice cream. There's like chocolate, uh, bourbon, there's bourbon vanilla. Oh, there's a coconut one. There's a coconut, rum and coconut. There's like a bunch of different alcohols, but it's all in ice cream. And they're selling it uh, somewhere. That sounds so I'll dangerous. I'll go buy a McDonald's, but it's frozen solid. You gotta like warm it up before you have it. <laughs> so you put it in the microwave. Is is, is that the instructions? Microwave yeah, pretty much. Cream, microwave yeah. a little bit so it thaws out, and then you can actually like scoop it with a spoon. My God. They give you flimsy spoons. I was I spent an hour trying to get a little bit of ice cream. Oh, I see. <laughs> but. Yeah. But it's good, really rich. It's Saturday afternoon in the lobby. Time to go say hi to people or, you know, get lunch like a normal person. Do you know what I love about the MFF lobby? What do you like? It's how much people are here and yeah. also how dark it gets in like the next one hour. Yeah, we only have an hour of light. I'm Lime. Hi. Hello, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Manchester in England. That's so far away. Uh, it's not too far. It's only like a nine hour flight. It's all right. Is this your first MFF? No, this is my third MFF. How are you liking so far? Good. It's one of my favorite cons. Ah. It's very good vibe. Why are you nice. Annoying? I'm what? filming things. Ah. Oh. I'm getting attacked by a cow. Adopted. I think we need to tie up this cow and like milk them or I something. Anyways. Uh. <laughs> it's a very chill vibe, which is why I like quite a lot. Like. Some cons are like really stressy, you feel like you need to do everything everywhere all at once, but this con is just so big that it's impossible. So you just kind of chill and vibe and do your own thing, and that's what I like about it. I am looking forward to being a shiny deer this evening at one of the latex parties. I want to insert footage of you being shiny in the lobby or something. That sounds good. How shiny are you going to be? Very shiny? Very shiny. So Lime's about five years old now, and the character's like 12 years old. What got you into VR chat? COVID. <laughs> Well, that, that was it. Like, I had a VR headset and was bored and in my house by myself for like six months. So I got into VR chat. <laughs> what a nice dog. Ah. Wow. Lee. Wow. Wow. The bed is still big. It's a video. <laughs> wow. New PJ. How are you liking the new animal carpet? I love it. Hi, I'm Yoji. All right, so what day is it today? 
Today is, oh, what day is it? Is it Saturday? I think it is Saturday. Saturday at MFF, woo! Yeah, party time. And it seems like people come from all over just to just to come here. So it's an opportunity to meet a lot of new people, which is great. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere, and there's not really a lot of good food options. Like my home con is FWA. I live in Atlanta, and it's right in the heart of the city, and there's so much good food and other stuff within walking distance that I feel spoiled by that. I love the food court. My, I think one of my favorites is definitely the Cuban place, like Benny's Cubano. So good. Oh, yeah, yeah. That place is super good. I also love the FWA's, like, food court experience. It's like you just go there. It's next door to the venue, yeah. and like all you see is furries in yep. a food court. Everything's like really connected too by the sky bridges and stuff there, so you don't have to go outside and get hot. All the hotels are right there. Everything's nice. But I still love this con anyway. It was one of my first big, big cons besides FWA, and it's always been always been a good time. There are a couple other cool parties I want to go to and some dances I want to see later tonight. But other than that, I'm just going to be hanging out, maybe go check out the dealer's den, see if there's anything cool there. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, just wandering and being a dog. Whoa, I'm a dog too. Heck. And I'm also wandering. Oh my gosh, we can wander together. We'll be wander puppies. All right, let's wander. Let's go. Walkies, oh, yeah. walkies. Whee. Walkie time. Who's here? I guess we'll go this way. I think it's worth cool this okay. way. Yeah, maybe maybe this way? Maybe this way? I don't I know. I don't know. What do you mean by horny? Is there a band? Uh, sure. There's a there's a band. Okay. That makes sense. You want to join a band? I yeah. Okay. I'll play an instrument, but <laughs> I, I can try. It's a great chance to meet new people and see friends who all come from all over the world, all over the country, to see me and everybody else. Me too. They want to see this dog too. Yes. Oh, I ah! see you, I think. What do you dislike about this con? It's a challenge because all the fun parties are in Maine, generally speaking. No one really wants to walk to the Hilton or the Embassy. And so if you don't get in Maine, a lot of people just don't want to go to the con at all. Overall, it seems like the, the con is very party centric, but it, it, with furry in general, parties are always behind closed doors. Dragon Con, which is in the same con hotel as FWA, they do the party in the lobby and then more of the relaxation and sort of like quiet stuff happens in the rooms. It's very different in furry, it's sort of the opposite. And that's one of the bigger challenges of MFF. As such a great con and so many wonderful, amazing people as there are, uh, it can feel very segregated because either you have the room, you know the party, or you don't. And the lobby is sort of the great equalizer and that's why it's fun to be down here in suit. I mean, I'm looking forward to the rave. I'm looking forward to when things settle down on Sunday, when people don't really have places to be that they're late to. So you kind of all just go to the lobby and just hang out and relax. Otherwise, most of the time you see friends, it's, oh, good to see you. I have three seconds to say hi, but I got somewhere else to be because uh, there, there's so many events going on and everybody's tends to plan in the same time slot of like you know 8 p.m until like midnight and then there's nothing happening before then so i hope more people plan parties uh sort of in the afternoon or even in the morning if uh for those who actually uh rise early one hour later One humongous meal later. Later that night. Yes. I'm from New York. I'm built for this. Could you please bring out the coyote? There's a real life coyote who you can all meet at this presentation. This is a wild ass encounter. He's very friendly. He's a little bit skittish, but he loves to make friends. <laughs> Please clap. Please clap. Later that night. Hi, now I'm being a shiny dude. As you can see, we're all of the shiny boys at MFF. Because this is a normal pastime for people to have. 
people are having a little photo shoot in their uh, shiny latex and their fursuits. MFF is a great con and they like people being shiny because it feels nice and it looks nice and being shiny is fun. later that night.
What are we doing right now? We're in the fucking lobby. What are we doing with our lives? What time is it right now? Are we play, wait, are we playing Mahjong? It's 5.11, but time is an interesting concept to begin with. Like, are we talking about time? Are we talking about our measurement of it? Or are we talking about, is it our time to do what's right? Oh, shit. My Saturday was very interesting. Uh, let's say that I had some very interesting experiences. Dance battle was pretty fucking lit. Also really enjoyed the rain. Some really goddamn good fucking sets. Would recommend, 10 out of 10. I spent so many years of my life going to bed early that I've accumulated enough sleep overhead to abuse my old body in such a fashion as to stay up until fucking 8 a.m. in the morning and then wake up at noon. Also, I'm insane. What time do I actually go to bed? No, like seven or eight can be very accurate. Uh, last time we were at MFF, we fucking had a crew staying up, some of them right there actually, um, until 11 a.m. in the morning down there in the entryway. And it was a great, great time. What? This is an interview. Oh God. Do you want to join the interview? Uh, you're, you're already in it, actually. Sorry. Boneless. Boneless? Can I get boneless interview? Boneless interview? You want boneless chicken, too? What the fuck is a boneless interview? Remember, kids, have your interviews boneless, just like you like your chicken. In my mind, it is Saturday. He died getting the McDonald's. He's never coming back again. That's kind of what I'm picturing too. I'm picturing like the full Uber Eats bag just on the ground. The fries are across the floor. American McDonald's is so horrible, but like in a good way. My MFF was pretty good. My first MFF night, I went into someone's bathroom and started like crying for an hour to start cry. The hash brown was delectable. I will show up to wherever you are at exactly six in the morning. If you're asleep, I will break into your hotel room and I will leave a hash brown right on the nightstand, like a little Christmas present, so that when you wake up, you have a little snack. And then you'll say, oh my God, Mimi left this for me. The next day. It's Sunday. Grab his dick and twist it! Why? Because. This is an MMA fight, dude, that's what we do. <laughs> right now I'm reheating the hash browns. Wait, I wanna find the one of, uh, yeah, Barton! Barton. This is the money maker right here. Right you never now. came up. How could you? Yeah, because I got hit up instead. Oh, that's a good. That's a good reason. Yeah, exactly. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Oh, you wow. like you like Mips dots? I've, I've literally I've literally just been like carrying them like this because I don't feel like. Fucking Wait, what? Them. What's with the dots? What? What's I've never had candy. He's never memory. had candy dots before. What? What? Wait, what? I don't even know what's going on here. So these are like literally like they're, these are just like pure sugar. Oh. Like there's cherry. Candy oh, mega right. buttons. Oh fuck yeah! The small ones are like. Three fourths the size. That's not worth it. Okay. I've also never had candy dots before. That's so oh, weird. You can come up and have some. Sure. Maybe I will after I'm done talking to the camera. Sounds <laughs> like I've right now. I've literally had the ability to just like keep it connected onto here. Put him in the bed with the captain's order. Put him in the bed with the captain's order. Put him in the bed with the captain's order. Early in the morning. It's Sunday, 7:30 p.m. The lobby is a little bit empty right now, but that's probably because everyone's getting dinner. I guess I should uh, go get dinner or something. I'm trying to ask people what they want dinner. 
later that night. We are in the atrium right now, the lower level. That's right. Here we are with the lo-fi fur pile. Provide a space for people to just chill, vibe, with fursuit fans, tube lights, you know, lo-fi music. Do fun things for your friends. This really just started as an event post-rave, uh, I think BLFC 2019 or something like that. So I just set up my fans and we set up a speaker to listen to some lo-fi music and we cuddled and it was the best experience of the con. Just an hour of being able to just talk and, and slow down for a bit. And friends saw us and started joining in and it became an event that I wanted to try to run and set up at every con I could go to. So then you're all re-energized and ready to party the night away. Crazy to see how big this has gotten. It's just so uh, heartwarming to see all my friends all together, together and uh, enjoying it. That's what I love about Furry. It brings people together. This is Whiskers. And this is Luca. Coming to you from MFF 2023, Sunday night, signing off. Doot, 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 doot. Meow, meow. <laughs> ah, yes, the fishbowl. This used to be a pool. Yeah, I'm serious. The main hotel used to have a pool in it. Imagine a pool with a bunch of furries in here. I wonder why they got rid of it. My con is going very well, so I love to meet all my friends and have a very good time over here. Yes, also, it's my first MFF and I really enjoy it here as well, so... It's hard to compare all of them, but I would say AC is my favorite, yes. Uh, my next con is A&E, it has been going pretty well. I uh, got to see a lot of people I haven't seen in several years at this point. So it's been wonderful being able to kind of connect with some people a little bit more intimately. Most of the times I'm typically running around conventions and going to parties and seeing big groups of people. It's been really nice to see a couple people just one-on-one -on -one for several hours at a time. Came in with very few expectations, so I've been pleasantly surprised how the whole cons turned out. So, For future reference, uh, I'd probably like to plan a couple more dinners with people. I know it's kind of always chaotic trying to coordinate uh, right at the 11th hour, so it'd be nice to kind of reach out ahead of time and uh, figure out what people would like to do or kind of organize a group to go somewhere else as Rosemont doesn't have great food options right immediately nearby. Favorite meal or restaurants? I really liked going to Lou Malnati's. Uh, that's my favorite pizza chain in Chicago. I went there growing up and we took some people down into the city uh, on Wednesday, or I should say Thursday, and then we went to uh, the, the um, German market that's at City Hall. And uh, we spent a couple hours there, had some uh, good spiced wine or mulled wine and just kind of hung out down there. So pizza and wine. The rest of my con, I'm just uh, doing one last round of suiting. Then I'm going to have to go back and start doing some packing. And probably I'll be very lazy this evening and be in Tegu and just running around here. Today is Sunday, the final day of MFF. Oh shit, someone's waving their head as if I'm wrong. Am I, what day is today? First day of MFF! Hey! hey! I was wrong this whole time, fuck. Or I'm being gaslit hard, to be determined. Arctic, how's your vlog going? It's going great. It's even better now. Wait, is that a microphone? That's that like a watch. It is a microphone. <laughs> oh shit. Arctic, can you hear me? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's pretty that's good. You're very Not a kiss, right but also something. Hi Jack, how's it going? It has been going good. Uh, I have like six photo shoots today, uh, so I've been busy as shit, but uh, I am feeling great, confident. They're going great. So this is my first MFF. Uh, it has been hectic as hell. I mean, I, I knew coming into it that people said it was like very busy and like all over the place. Uh, I'm at a Furcon. I am enjoying myself. I'm actually seeing a lot of people that I haven't seen in a long while. A lot of international furs out here too, so I'm enjoying seeing people from across the pond. Uh, it's been fantastic so far. I've kind of accomplished everything that I've wanted to do here, and and then more. I've been surprised like every single day by something that pops up that I wasn't expecting to do. Uh, the 621 rule is very simple: six hours of sleep a night, two meals a day, and at least one shower. Please shower somebody else tank and we can smell it in the skyway well i heard that there's going to be a uh, a costco members only party later on with costco hot dogs and i'm getting a little bit hungry so i'm definitely waiting for that one uh, next con that i have planned currently is going to be uh, nordic fuzzcon over in sweden so for all my international friends i'll see you over there yeah i guess we'll see you there too oh hell yes later that night
that I'm able to do this for all of y'all. Thank you so much. And I want to give a huge shout out to the entire audiovisual team that's here this weekend. Um, Token Goofy on lights, Simon K and um, Foxworth on the video stuff. I got Dagger Rear back there doing the visuals, which was sweet as fuck. Uh, and that's it. And shout out to my boyfriend over there. I see you now. <laughs> All right, you know what the saying goes, you can't stay home, you can't go home, but I almost fucked that one up. All right, y'all, have a good night. See ya. We'll see you next time in 2024. I think I'll bring the sound system next year. How about that? Later that night. It is still Sunday and it is coming up on the end of the evening, but we are still going strong. I hung out with so many people and made a lot of people different experiences, got my fursuit for the first time and really just running around being me. And I feel so happy about it. I think I like just how many people there are. There's so much to do and I feel like you're always meeting somebody. It makes you so happy. I think next year what I'm going to do differently is I'm going to have so much more for my fursuit like a harness and a pet suit and a few other things so I can really just live lavishly and be me. My next con, I think it's going to be A&W or a &E. Friends want me to go. I really got to check out A&E at least because I've never been. I've never been to New England and I want to find out what the vibe is. I hope everybody who came here had a good time. I hope anybody who was not able to make it can try to come next year. And all you have to do is just be a good dog. 4.39, there we go. 4.39 a.m. Found it. These are butler's cookies, so I've been told. Holy shit, this is the best cookie I've ever fucking had. So you're gonna share these cookies? Next day. Hey, it's Monday. We are going to get in an Uber and go get some Giordano's. And I'm so fucking wired. You all ready for another five days of con? Let's do it. Had a great con. I did first meeting for the first time. Hi, I'm back again. That was me in the dragon suit. That was an experience. There's still a lot to unpack. We're saying bye to all of our friends. We get distracted. We try to sit and enjoy a meal and quick run to go grab someone as they're getting onto a shuttle to give them a hug. But overall, it was very, very fun.